In the audience today, we've got uh, a number of people who are joining the next EF cohort and a number of people we hope will join future Entrepreneur First cohorts. How, how would you encourage them to think about going through that ideation process and really thinking about scale? Um, and should you think about scale from day one or do you have to wait until you actually have something? Well, you should think about the potential of scale from day one. Um, like ultimately, uh, the entrepreneurial journey is very hard, so generally speaking, you should, you should uh, take your largest possible idea and go to that. You know, you'll always pay the table stakes in learning, uh, stressful long days, you know, uh, uh, the kind of the uncertainty and doubts and challenges that go around entrepreneurship. So, so go big. And refine to roughly when you think you can go big. Now, it doesn't mean the mistake is saying, oh, we'll do it from the very beginning. So there's another Masters of Scale episode. I think this one was with Brian Chesky, which was start handcrafted, right? Like, figure out, like, okay, what's the thing, what's the unique idea that I have for a product for go-to-market? What's the ways that it can go big? What are the ways that I can build or test, you know, maybe be embarrassed by my very first product release, that I can, that I can get a sense of, am I on target? Is the direction right? And and have speed and momentum as opposed to trying to build everything. Like the classic entrepreneurial mistake is I have this big idea, so I'm gonna spend three years you know, behind the curtain and then I'm gonna pull back the curtain and everyone's gonna go, ooh, wow. And there are a few people who can do that, not very many, <laughs> right? So gather experience first. But the, uh, you always wanna be thinking, I want to get to something big, and then, okay, now what are the concrete steps by which I can be learning and testing? And the, the framework, that I recommend to entrepreneurs is to have what I think of as an investment thesis, which is a list of bullets, uh, preferably not super long, but if it's too short, you're probably not thinking big enough, you know, three to 10, say. They say, this is my theory about uh, why this product or service could work, like why the go-to-market work, why people would use it, why it's unique and special, why it's competitively differentiated, why I can deliver it, why it's doable. And then you think, okay, what, what data and evidence can I get on that? Now, one of the things that people frequently undercount is that going and talking to your smartest friends is part of that data and evidence. Like going and saying, I think this, what do you think? Now, the what do you think question should be, what's wrong with this? Because right? your friend will actually say, oh, no, it's great, you'll be fine. You're like, no, that's not helpful. <laughs> right? What would break? Right? And so, for example, when I was going around in the early days of LinkedIn, uh, one of the, 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 the most helpful pieces of advice I got from my now partner, uh, John Lilly, who's a partner at Greylock, who's the CEO of Mozilla, and he said, oh, no one's gonna use this, right? This is a terrible idea. And I was like, well, why? And he said, well, look, first person involved in the network, zero value. Second person in the network knows first person, zero value. Like, like, like you're gonna have to get a whole bunch of people in here for each new person is zero value before you have any value whatsoever. So why is anyone gonna invite anyone why is anyone gonna join this network? It's never gonna work. Super helpful, because what it, it convinced me is like that was very smart, very cogent analysis, and so I went, okay, so my key thing, the key thing that I'd have to know in order to start, and the key thing I'd have to be shooting at from the very beginning is, how do I get the first, and because I did a, some back of the envelopes, 500,000 to a million people in. How do I do that? Because if I don't do that successfully, it won't work. And that feedback, which is, literally just data from talking to your smart friends, focus the entire strategic plan, right? So you don't ha necessarily have to say, oh, I launched it, or I did 100 user studies. Those can be useful, those can be the right things to do. Sometimes it's, and it isn't necessarily a person who's expert, because you know, John Lilly wasn't an expert in building consumer internet networks. His own startup had been enterprise startups and an enterprise incubator and security companies, and then he was doing Mozilla. But it's smart people who, who, who can envision, okay, what would the hurdles be, and these are the challenges that I see. This is why I wouldn't be trying to found your business right now, and that can help you figure out. Because then I went, okay, I think I can solve this problem, and then I have a unique insight that the market doesn't have, right? So those are the kinds of things to do. So, um, and by the way, just to be super clear, most entrepreneurs, you have a number of ideas and part of what you're evaluating. So, when I was going around talking about the LinkedIn idea, I had three or four other ideas I was talking about too. And the discussions made me convinced that, oh, those other days are small. <laughs>